velocity time graph where the initial velocity is not equal to zero. Let's say it is case three. So in this case, the initial velocity is not equal to zero. Let us draw a velocity time graph with velocity on y axis and time on x axis to satisfy the above condition. Now let's see how we can arrive at distance travelled by the body in this situation. Now draw a perpendicular from point C on line BC to point A on time axis. We have taken from point C draw a perpendicular to the time axis meeting the time axis at A. Now we know that the distance travelled at time A which means by the time the body reaches the point A on the time axis it is described or it is defined as area enclosed by line BC with time OA. This point being B. So from the velocity time graph we know that the area enclosed by the graph BC with the time OA is distance travelled at time A. So which from the graph is nothing but area of trapezium OBCA. Since OBCA is a trapezium with the two parallel sides and the height. The area of a trapezium is defined as half into sum of parallel sides into height. So in this case it is half into sum of parallel sides are AC plus OB. Height is OA. So which can be written as half into OD plus OB into OA. Since AC is equal to OD. So distance travelled where the initial velocity is at B is the area of trapezium OBCA.